guys, this is Aaron from Damp Fast FPV here today to show you this. This is the Blitzschnell frame from Damp Fast FPV, and we're featuring this Beta FPV board. It's the first ever uh, 6S capable all in one whoop size board, and it, it's supposed to hold 35 amps down. We'll see what happens. Uh, currently, we have a 5S high volt pack on here. Uh, it's a funny conversation I had with the Beta FPV guys. They told me do not run this on 6S. They said that the the power cable and the capacitor on here um, from the factory was not able to handle 6S voltage. So I went ahead and put it upon myself to upgrade it. I do not have a, the correct capacitor yet, but I did upgrade it to a 16 gauge wire and a Dean's plug for right now just to get a few extra amps out of it. Um, but I'm going to show you a little test flight today, and uh, we'll see how it works. I'm still working on the tune, but uh, as you can see, we have a, a nice lightweight setup here. Uh, as you see it, it, all up weight is about 249 grams, so we're just right under that 250 gram threshold. Uh, we'll uh, plug her in, get some DVR going, and let you see how it does. Welcome to OpenTX. Well, those Dean's plugs don't pop together just like those XT30s do. All right, here we are. I'm gonna run the DVR. It is so smooth. I've been flying this already for a little while. This is my first uh, build that's ever ran RPM filtering. So that's why I've got those stats over there on the screen. Just so I know what kind of RPM I'm at. One thing I've noticed about this ultralight 5 inch is they don't really need as much milliamp in the battery as most. Boy, that's just instant. I'm running the gym fan props that Kebab helped work on. These are his favorite prop. I think they're a little bit heavy for this setup. But only because of how many amps they draw under full throttle. Man, that sounds nice. Throttle management is really smooth. I don't have any uh, throttle cap set. As you can see on the bottom left, it'll go all the way to 100. But these motors are only 1800 kV. So they're a little high KV for 6S, in my opinion. But I think 5S is the sweet spot. The 1806, and it's, believe it or not, it's from a cheap MJX Bugs 3 drone. You can get these on Amazon for about, I think, 42 bucks with Amazon Prime. I had a little bobble there. I'm going to have to figure out what that was about. Boy, that just gets it. <laughs> it's pretty quiet for a 5 inch, I'm not going to lie. I've never heard a 5 inch that's flown around like this sound <laughs> as quiet as this has. So yeah, major bobble there. I'm going to have to check my minimum throttle RPM and see what that's set at. It seems like every time I go to zero throttle it just gets funky. weird. So I'm 
I'll show you how efficient this thing is. So, if I can get it down here to hover, it's it's pretty much at two amps or below to maintain a hover with this thing. There we go, about 1.85. So something like this, it would probably be set up good for a long range setup. Throw a crossfire on there with a high output. Uh, VTX. I'm not going to be carrying the GoPros, but <laughs> you know what? You can sure go a long ways and be real quiet about it. And you're below the 250 gram mark. Just a little bit of prop wash. minutes out of this. It's going to be a little bit of a long video, guys. I'm sorry. Boy, just cruising around at 4 amps. Okay, I think our battery's ready to come in here. We got five minutes, but boy, that battery was hurting. All right, let me know what you think, guys. We got the damn fast blitz snail frame. Just the five inch. We got offset going on. There's a little spacer plate in there, so we have a total of six millimeter offset. Let me know what you think in the comments.